Hello students, under the topic integration, we are going to learn a series of lecture on integration by parts. The by parts rule is applied when the integral is a product of two functions, where we will be choosing one function as u and another function as dv through which we will be obtaining v. So the formula used here is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du. The evaluation of this integral depends upon the proper choice of u and v. u is so chosen in such a way that this integral v du is easily integrable. So there is a um, like how to choose u and v. There is a small uh, thing to remember that is I L A T E I late where I stands for inverse L stands for logarithmic functions A stands for algebraic functions T stands for trigonometric functions and E stands for exponential functions. Now in this order we have to choose u and the remaining that is other than u whatever is left out that will be chosen as dv. So if we do a problem on this topic you will understand it more better. So let us solve a problem. The first problem under this topic is find the integral of x e power x dx. Now we observe that the given function is a product of two functions. So we have to use integration by parts. Now first step is we have to make the choice of the function u. So this integral will be chosen as u and dv for which first we should make the choice of u, u so that the remaining will be dv. So what is u in this, uh, in this given question for that we have to I told you to remember this right so we have to check out for this. Now if there is an inverse function over here then first that has to be chosen as u but here it is not there. If there is a logarithmic then we have to choose logarithm and if there is an algebraic that will fall as u. So if you check here there are two functions one of which is algebraic. So uh, any functions of the form x, x squared, x cube, x squared plus 2, x squared plus 4 all that will be algebraic. And this function is exponential because it, it involves e power x. So now here x is algebraic, e power x is exponential. So when we uh, choose in this order because we have to choose the function u in this order, we observe that algebraic comes first. After algebraic only we have the exponential function. So now here what should be u then? The first is algebraic. So the function u should be x. So we have to choose u as x. So u will be equal to x. So that the remaining will be dv. That is this we have chosen as u. And so this full is the remaining. So that has to be chosen as dv. So dv will be equal to e power x dx. Hope you have understood how we have to choose the function u. And after choosing u, the remaining functions we have to take as dv. So this function u is chosen in this order. If there is an inverse function, then that has to be chosen as u first. So we have to go in this order. Inverse, logarithmic algebraic, trigonometric and then last is exponential. So according to this order first we have to make the choice of u and after making the choice of u we have to uh, take the remaining part fully as dv. So now we have separated into two parts. Now in the formula we have u. So what is u? u is equal to x that we have got. Then it has v v is the integral of dv okay so when we integrate this we get v so what is the integral of dv it is v which is equal to if we integrate on the left hand side we have to integrate on the right also what is the integration of e power x 
by the integration formula the integration for e power x is e power x only so this is e power x a constant will be added to it but anyway at the last we will add that constant so we have got v so we have got u and we have got v so these two things is there in the formula which we have uh, got already minus integral v is here du so du means we have to differentiate this function u in order to get du in the formula so what is the differentiation of u with respect to x it is du by dx so differentiation of u with respect to x is du by dx is equal to if you differentiate x with respect to x what is the differentiation of the variable x it is 1 okay by the differentiation formula the differentiation of x is 1 okay and so from this we get du to be equal to taking this dx to the right we will get du to be equal to dx we can directly also we can write du is equals to dx so we have got u we have got v and we have got du which are there in the formula now we shall substitute all these three in the formula so I have written the formula here integral u dv is equals to u v minus integral v du. So now we shall substitute in this formula. So what is this actually integral u dv? It is given question x e power x dx. Okay so integral u dv that we have written. So that is equal to the solution will be u v. So u is x. So we will write that v is e to the power x u v minus integral v du so what is v e to the power x du is dx so i am taking all this and substituting here in the formula u is x v is e to the power x minus integral v is e to the power x du is dx so i am writing all that now this will be equal to so this remains the same e x e to the power x minus what is the integral of e power x dx we all know that by the integration formula the integral of e power x dx is e power x only so this is minus e to the power x and now here we observe that e to the power x is common in both the terms so we can take it out so e to the power x multiplied with x minus 1 and at last we can write a c together so plus a constant c which we get after integration so therefore integral x e power x dx is equal to e power x multiplied with x minus 1 plus c so this is the answer we will solve more more problems uh, on this topic in our next videos thank you